and control. That's what experts say about domestic violence. But those relationships don't necessarily start out that way. It's often gradual and subtle. Tonight, our On Your Side safety team aiming to help you spot the signs for yourself or someone you care about. Here's Macy Morse. I think that it is the root cause of all major crime. Did you know an act of violence happens every 15 seconds? More than 12 million men and women are a victim of abuse each year in the United States. Just in Chesterfield County, police are averaging 8 to 10,000 domestic assault calls every year, making roughly 1,800 arrests annually. I have arrested police officers, I've arrested attorneys, I've arrested uh, politicians. Chesterfield police detective with the Special Victims Unit, Nick Frazier, says in recent years, they've seen a lot more cases involving stalking and monitoring with phones. So a lot of air tags. A lot of GPS tracking devices. 23 people every minute fall victim to rape, physical violence, verbal abuse, or stalking by someone they know considered their partner. But not all signs of domestic violence are black and blue. Domestic violence is about power and control. It's not about the violence. The police department's domestic violence coordinator says most times relationships start off great, then they move relatively quickly. Mooney says oftentimes partners mistake acts of love for controlling behaviors. Is your partner controlling most of your activities, your daily activities? Are they controlling your, finan your finances? Um, are you isolated? Have you been estranged from your family, uh, friends, um, <clears throat> co-workers? Do you, are you allowed to work outside the home? If you are, is that restricted? Is, you know, is any part of your life restricted um, to the point where you can't freely make your own choices? If you know someone who suddenly has lower self-esteem and is repeatedly canceling plans outside of their partner, these could be signs that abuse could be happening behind closed doors. So what can you do if you or someone you know may be a victim. First, officials say to stop blaming yourself. It is not your fault and it is something that um, we are here for you. Every time I talk to people, I tell them they're not crazy. That's usually the typical thing that I get when I'm talking to a victim. Um, they feel embarrassed. They feel like they've done something wrong. They feel like they are the reason why this is happening to them and that nobody's listening to them. And if you or someone you know may be in danger, don't be scared to reach out for help. If you don't feel comfortable involving the police, because sometimes the police can, the police involvement can escalate things, <clears throat> that certainly there are other resources out there that can assist you. For more information or resources, if you or somebody you know needs help, you can visit our website, 12onyourside.com. In Chesterfield County, I'm Macy Morris.